four meters down. Two more track races to close out this program. See the women over there on the right hand side of your screen. Full eight competitors down there. New world champion Sharika Jackson goes in lane five. The meeting record is hers. 2196. She did that last year, making up for that disappointment of not making the Olympic final in Tokyo. She's got Majinga Kumbunji back from a great third place in the 100 metres earlier for company. Lane eight, though, will be Tania Gaitha at the Bahamas. She had PB in the semi final of the World Championships and picked up a seventh at the Commonwealth Games. Popped up to Celestia for a fourth place there. So she's had a very busy two weeks or so. From the Bahamas. Now, Jenna Prandini, they handed out medals for running the bend. I think she would have a claim at a gold medal. She got that gold medal in the 4x100, largely due to that great third leg run she produced. And she was great around the bend on Saturday in Poland. Couldn't quite hold it together in the straight. Had to settle for third. But if Prandini can convert all that bend speed into the straight and then maintain it, she's super dangerous over 200 meters. Tamara Clark, the USA, goes in lane six. She took sixth place at the World Championships two weeks ago. Sharika Jackson, though, put herself up into number two on the all-time list with her 21.45 clocking on the way to the gold medal in Eugene. Good silver over the 100 as well. Majinga Kambunji was fifth in the 100, eighth in the 200 at the World Championships. A bronze over this distance at the Doha World Championships in 2019. Kyla White of the USA goes in lane three. American champs finalist this year over this distance. Shotti of Hungary goes in lane two. She was due to be in lane one, so I wonder if Brianna Williams of Jamaica hasn't made the start line. I think Chanel Brissett has replaced Brianna Williams. season's best list listed for Brissett. Taking the opportunity if you're here anyway and there's a lane opening up. Always worth the opportunity. So Sharika Jackson in lane five, the new world champion. Number two all time. And the meeting record holder already. Could she lower her 21.96? Bungie looked good in the 100 meters earlier. Could she challenge her own national record she set in Eugene a 22.05? Tamara Clark dipped underneath that 22 seconds in Eugene to pick up sixth place. She goes in lane six. Away, fine. Looked like a good start from Sharika Jackson, the world champion. Kambunji doing everything she can to stay on terms with Sharika Jackson, but at the moment, Sharika Jackson takes the lead into the straight. Sharika Jackson, can she find anything more in these closing stages? It's a great run from Kyla White. She looks like she could have the best of the rest of the field. But here comes the Jamaican. Sharika Jackson takes the win. Outside 22 seconds today. Couldn't recapture the form from the world championships or the Diamond League on Saturday. I'm sure the fatigue has got to catch up with Sharika Jackson at some point, but that was a really well executed race, and she does take the win here today. Yeah, pretty comfortable win, wasn't it? Not quite as quick as in shorts of a couple of days ago. Plus 0.6, the win behind the Jamaican there. 22 0 2 is a convincing victory over Kambunji, who has been in wonderful form this year. Eighth in the World Championships for Kambunji in that uh, 200 final. Probably didn't, doesn't reflect how well she's been running this season, the uh, Swiss. Gets a good start here, so does Kambunji. Fourth from right, put Kambunji in lane four. Really good bend, by the way, by Kayla White. I thought uh, she might make inroads towards Jackson, but uh, Jackson's so strong through the second half. She does nab second place, just does a, in fact, just checking, Kambunji has been given second place by one one hundredth of a second. I thought Kayla White got it. 
Jackson, though, the undisputed winner. Very comfortable victory there. 22-0-2 for Sherika Jackson. That's Majinga Kumbunji nipping Kayla White for second. Majinga Kumbunji adding that performance to her third place finish in the 100 metres. But Kayla White, that was, that was really impressive. So committed and ambitious round the bend and she nearly held on for a great second place. There have been whispers of Sherika Jackson 